Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. And today, I want to go over how you can get every single mantle in-game and all of the boosters. Up until now, I've done a few videos here and there on a select few mantles as and when I've discovered them. But now that myself and 269 have got all of them, I figured it'd be a good time to put all that information into one single video so that if there are still items you're looking for, you should be able to get all your answers here. So if you enjoy this video and you find it helpful, then a like will be super appreciated and be sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, since the focus of this video is going to be on how to get the mantles, I'm only going to very quickly explain what each item does. This won't be an in-depth breakdown of each and every item, so if there's something you want to know more about, let me know down below. So, first up you have the Gilly Mantle. This item conceals you from enemy view, so you can use it to hide from monsters, complete egg quests easily, and just escape if things get hectic. It's the first mantle you get in the game, and everyone will have this by default, just by playing through the story. You're given it before you head on the Flying Sparks Toby Kadachi quest. The Glider Mantle is the second one you'll obtain. This is the mantle that lets you increase your jump airtime, ride strong winds upwards, and also makes it easier to mount monsters. This you'll obtain again by playing through the story, directly after completing the very first assignment in the Coral Highlands, before you go and fight Paolumu. Next on the list is the Vitality Mantle. This essentially gives you another health bar and negates a fixed amount of damage, after which it expires. So wearing this mantle essentially takes damage before you do. You'll get this one just before you fight Zora Magdaros for the second time, which then leads you on to high rank. The Apothecary Mantle increases the probability of triggering status buildup when attacking with weapons that induce abnormal statuses. This essentially makes it so that every hit procs a status hit. So while it doesn't last too long, it's great at getting that second status in following the first. For this one, you have to complete the 8 star quest, A Portent of Disaster, which will have you hunt a Kushala Daora in the Ancient Forest. In order to get this quest to show up, you have to fully research 10 monsters, so if you've been gathering footprints, make sure you speak to the researcher to update your research levels. Following on from there, you have the Immunity Mantle. This removes and nullifies any abnormal status effects, which makes it a great one to wear if you're going face to face with some of those Elder Dragons. In order to unlock this one, much like the previous one, you have to research monsters, but this one requires that you fully research 15 monsters. Upon doing that, the Lady in the Armoury will give you the 8 star quest, A Blaze on the Sand, which will have you hunt a Teostra in the Wild Spire Waste, complete that, and it's yours. Next up, the Impact Mantle. This is the one that adds a stun effect to most attacks, as well as increasing the potency of any existing stun effects. In other words, you can turn any weapon into a KO weapon, and make your hammers, horns, etc. even more effective. In order to get this one, you have to complete the 9 star quest, Showdown, the Muck and the Maul, which will have you hunt a Tempered Baroth and a Radaban in the arena. And in order to get this quest to show up, you have to hunt 5 unique threat level 1 tempered monsters. So that's things like Puke, Anjanath, Toby, Baroth, Rathian, etc. The low tier ones that only require you to be HR 13 to complete. The Evasion Mantle increases the invulnerability window while evading and grants a temporary attack boost if you successfully evade a monster's attack at the last moment. This one comes from the 9 star quest New World Sky, New World Flower, which will have you hunt a tempered Azure Rathalos and Pink Rathian in the arena. And in order to unlock this quest, you have to hunt 5 unique tier 2 tempered monsters, the ones that require you to be HR 30 or higher, so that's things like Basil, Rathalos, Orogaron, Diablos, Legiana, etc. Hunt 5 of those, and this quest will show up. Moving on from there to the Rocksteady Mantle. This eliminates damage reactions, prevents wind effects, protects your hearing, and grants tremor resistance, plus you also take slightly less damage from attacks. For this one, you need to be in the end game, HR 50 plus, and you have to complete the 9 star quest, a summons from below. This will have you hunt a tempered Valhazak and an Elder Garon, and in order to unlock this quest, you have to have hunted 5 tempered Elder Dragons. Although, some people have said that it's only 3, but for me it only showed up after 5. Basically, hunt tempered Elder Dragons, at least 5, and this will show up for you. Next up is the Bandit Mantle, aka the Money Mantle. This causes monsters to drop rare trade-in items when you attack them, and this is one of the best ways to make money in the game. So this is usually a mantle I carry with me just to make some extra cash on the go. This comes from completing the 5 star quest Redefining the Power Couple, which will have you hunt a Rathalos and a Rathian. The Challenger Mantle prompts monsters to target you more often and it makes them easier to lure, but the effects expire if you're attacked, so this is super useful if you want to try and lure a monster into another area or into a trap. This item comes from the 7 star quest The Red and Blue Crew. This will have you hunt a Rathalos and an Azure Rathalos. It's part of the Armoury questline and as far as I'm aware, this should just show up on your list 
If you don't have it though, you'll just need to make sure you've cleared the previous armory quests. If you pay attention to the client, it'll say the armory down here. Next up, the Fireproof Mantle. This improves your fire element resistance and makes you immune to fire blight. In order to get this one, you need to complete the seven star quest, A Fiery Convergence, which will have you hunt a Levasioth and an Uragan. In order to get this quest to show up, you have to have hunted all three monsters in Elder's Recess. It can be done through investigations or optional quests, but you have to have defeated Dodogama, Uragan, and Levasioth. Then this quest will show up. The waterproof mantle improves your water resistance and makes you immune to water blight, plus it allows you to move faster in swamps and high water. For this one, you simply need to complete the delivery request, armory, R&D, waterproofing. As for the iceproof mantle, this improves your ice resistance and makes you immune to ice blight. And much like the previous one, this is also from an R&D delivery quest, this time the weatherizing one. And then finally on the mantle front, the thunderproof mantle. This one improves your thunder resistance and makes you immune to thunder blight. This one comes from the five star quest Gone in a Flash, which will have your hunter Kirin, but in order to get this to show up, you first have to have completed the optional capture quests. Two star, Snatch the Snatcher. Three star, Land in the Landslide Wyvern. Four star, White Monster for a White Coat. And finally, five star quest, A Man's Best Friend. Complete those, then speak to the guy at the capture platform and he will give you that quest. Now moving on from there to the final three items, the boosters. First, the health booster item. This you'll get by playing through the story and you're given it after the first time you fight Zora Magdaros. This item creates a smoke cloud that restores your health in combat. Second to that, you have the cleanser booster. This one you'll get from completing the quest on Nightmare's Wings, which will have you slay five Raffinos super easy quest and the cleanser booster removes blights and status effects you might have applied again in a cloud of smoke. Then finally, the last item, the Affinity Booster. This boosts your affinity whilst you're standing in the Cloud of Smoke. It's incredibly potent when used in the team and definitely fast becoming a popular item for a lot of people. In order to get this, you have to talk to the field team leader after completing the research base quest line. First, you have to do the six star quest, A Tingling Taste. After this, you'll have a delivery quest called A Master's Toast. Following that, you'll have another six star quest called Stuck in Their Ways, followed by another delivery quest, A Fire Spewing Brew then a 7 star quest called a Source Sight, and finally the 7 star quest Rumble in the Waste, and upon doing that you'll get the Affinity Booster. And that my friends is how you get all of the special items, all the mantles and all the boosters. Hopefully you found that helpful, if you have any questions let me know down below, but otherwise thank you for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.